How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Sykes and welcome back to the perpetually insane Pit People. It is time once again for us to head back into doing these side missions. We started off in an area that was complete, we've got a few to do in this area and then I guess we'll move on. This area will probably take us more than this episode though, so let's just jump into it and see what we can get done today. Oh my god, four stars right off the bat, Ruckus Ranch. It's called Ruckus Ranch, but this is getting ridiculous. Four stars right off the bat, this is going to be a risky one, but we got full health and we're ready to roll. We also got a resurrection potion, I think. Hey y'all, we mightily appreciate you all lending us a hand. You see, there are some strangers outside. We need your help to show them what for. Okay, but uh, why are you fighting? Why are we? What do you mean, why are we fighting? Look at them. They're different than us. Okay. They are? How can you tell? They're all wearing masks. Precisely, little lady. The masks are to hide their jagged fangs. Uh-huh. Okay. We can knock off one of their masks, so you'll stop fighting if they look normal, right? Well, shucks, I suppose so, if they're normal. But don't say I didn't warn you, Missy. Oh, just watch for their leader, the Rhubarb Brothers. They're the worst of them all. And they have fangs too? Oh yeah, huge. Alright, let's hold that line, shall we? Do what we do. Holding the line is what we do, motherfucker. It's what we do. Well, at least this is what we're gonna try and do. Get fucked, bitch. I hate tents. I hate them so much. All we gotta do is protect the hats. We should be alright. Although we're not blocking this completely. Doesn't worry. But they're not moving up, so we can just push forward and block it more. We're gonna move this guy into the cannon straight away so we can get start firing on shit. And making their life more miserable. Because I like that. Get in the cannon. Uh, fire on their tent. Can you reach the- you can't reach their tent? Well, that's a shame. Fire over there then. That might hit one of our guys though, unfortunately, but... That's the price of success, isn't it? Oh, nice. Get a bonus. That won't hit one of our guys, but it will hit many of their guys if they don't move. Yeah, they got out of the way in time. They really teamed on Horatio there too. But that's cool. Sort of surround them. And surround them. And you, I don't know. Fire out here, I guess. That should hit around Horatio, but not actually hit Horatio. That should be pretty good. Nice. Good damage. Not bad, not bad. Now they have to keep moving so that the cannon doesn't land straight on them. That guy's gonna opt to take the cannon to the face. Did zero damage though, so... Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I really want to take that tent out, because tents are bad, man. Tents are bad news. Um, I don't really know where to fire you without hitting something important. In fact, I don't think I know it. I don't think you gotta fire anywhere. You fire somewhere and someone's gonna die. My mask! Alright, good. That's step one, I guess. We got one of their masks off, Davey. They don't look like they have fangs. Oh, stop staring at my naked face cheeks. My naked face. She's right, boys, no fangs, which can only mean you're getting it. They can only mean they're using our own against us, those filthy brainwashers. What? Those low-down brothers will stoop at anything. Them with their weird monster fanged faces. What do we need to do to convince you? Unmask one of the Rhubarb brothers? Ha, huh, that might actually do it. But you'll see. You'll see. 
Say that last time, dumb shit. Here they come. Surprise, you hat wearing so and so's. It's the Rhubarb Brothers. Too bad those hats you're wearing ain't big enough to harden. Here we come. Alright, here we go. This will be a good time to use those cannons. Oh, balls. They've got cannons too. Hooray. We ain't gonna hide, are we, boys? Nope. We're summoning our own dudes. No, sir. Get those masks and fang having Rhubarb Brothers. You fucks just don't understand, huh? Alright, so we need to stay out of their cannon fire while taking the Rhubarb Brothers out with their own cannons. Oh, shit. And they can break through the barbed wire to get to us. Did he fire on his own, wherever he felt like? He was firing on our own guys, the dumb fuck. Okay. Oh, we need to move some back towards the Rhubarb Brothers, I think. Protect. And we need to move some to stay here and block the way. Horatio, you've got long movement range. Probably be best for you to go. Um. Oh, no, and you need to fire on the Rubo Brothers, wherever the fuck they are. There you go. Fire on the Rubo Brothers. And bring a couple of, the, of our guys back to protect from the Rubo Brothers when they break through the wall, which they will, eventually. God almighty. For the love of Jeebus. Alright, right, we got a plan. God damn. We just gotta stay alive long enough to unmask the Rhubarb Brother, yeah? Their defenses are broken. Burn every hat you see. Curse your elongated incisors. Your monsters. If this be the end, men, let them say we died with our hats on. What happened? Did you destroy the hats? You better not have destroyed some hats, you fucking asshole. This looks risky to be surrounding ourselves like that, but... Fuck it, do it anyway. You fellas go around. You help protect, and you keep firing on this asshole. We gotta hold these guys back, without, otherwise they'll come destroy the hats, while moving some to intercept the fucking Rhubarb Brothers. Double kill, yes. Man, their cannons are nasty. Nasty as fuck. No point taking the teens out, because I've got so many dudes already. Never win from just raw killing. It's not enough. He moved! What a wank. Fucking bitch. Moving and shit. You're my fucking victim. You don't move. I kill you. Asshole. That's probably gonna break our own fence, but whatever. We kill him first, don't matter. Kill him! Yes! Alright, he's dead. Rubar Brothers hurt, but he ain't dead. Oh shit, they've broken their way in. Fuck, they're going straight for the hats too. Shit, we need to send someone down there to stop them. Good god damn it. Otherwise we're gonna have problems. We're gonna have problems, son! We gotta try and intercept their asses. Alright, do your best. Where is he going? It's around there. I could actually hit both of them with that one. If they don't move. Which they will, of course. Because not moving would be stupid. Moving's the only sensible cause of action, realistically. Incoming! We need to take those cannons out, but they're too far away. It'll take too much movement to get to them. Oh, they're really hammering on these hats. There they go. Not the hats, you fuck. Jesus Christ, you guys are you guys are crazy. You don't mess with a man's hat. You don't mess with a man's hats. That's bullshit. You know better than that, don't you? Surely. You got no fucking etiquette, son. No etiquette whatsoever. Messing with a man's hats. Is that one of the brothers? Yeah. Fuck it is. Fuck him up. 
Can you aim over here? Intercept. You guys keep these fucks over here busy. Dead. Good goddamn. They're so dangerous. Stop destroying my hats, you fucks. These hats are pretty safe. They can't really get to them except with their cannons, I guess. Cannons will do it, yeah. Oh my god, they can one-shot them? Basically fucking destroyed himself, though. He headbutted them. Fucking mental case. Okay, that is actually inside a fucking danger zone. Can't move Pip, though, so I guess she's dead. Then she can't get out of the danger zone. What fucking destroyed that one? Oh, the imp. Pixie, or whatever you fucking call it. Pixie killed it. You okay, Pip? Oh my god, she didn't take any damage. Pip, you're a beast. There goes the cavalry. Ha! Your little tent warbers can't help you now. Oh, not my tent. I'm running out of time. Can't hold them up forever. Oh my god. They're ruthless. This spider's moving its way towards our tents as well. Hold them back. You, sh you guys should be able to finish that one off now, I reckon. There goes another lot of hats if we don't stop him. Dead. That was one of, their, one of our guys though, I believe. Pretty sure that was one of our guys. Here he goes, he's going for the hats. There's only two lots of hats left for fuck's sakes. Where do you guys keep taking our masks? Yes, we got one. I don't see any fangs on the Rubai brother, Davey. Ah, well that is weird. Wait, didn't I hear that one of the brothers was adopted? Yeah, I think I heard that too. Oh, well it makes sense then, don't it? Okay, fine, let's unmask the other brother. You fucks. Of course it wasn't going to be that easy. Not that it's been easy at all, it's been very difficult. You guys need to hold these fucks back. I don't get anywhere near these hats. Nowhere near. Yeah. You've got the other one surrounded, that's fine. Well, surrounded's a big word. Not so much surrounded as in intercepted. At the very least. Oh, that was my favorite mask. Yes, we got him. Double kill, yes. He's got a big fucking beard. The big fucking stonking beard. There, look, none of the guys have fangs. Why, it must be a disguise, or a body double. Hey, what about a body triple, Davy? Good point! Could be any of those things. Huh, what are they talking about? They think you wear those masks because you have fangs. What? We wear them because they're fashionable and functional. Fangs? Huh, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Everyone knows they're the ones who wear hats to hide their horns. I think we've done all we can here. Good luck, you guys. Take them hats. Alright, done. Let's leave. We ain't staying. We're not gonna win this one. We didn't actually lose anyone though, so that's nice. I guess I'll pause the video here and I'll bring you back when we get to the next uh, mission. That'd be cool. Alright, here we are at the next mission, which looks like a bunch of kobolds and one of them has a kobold on his back for some reason. Let's go see what's up. Three stars. We should be alright with that considering we've got hurt characters now. Because I didn't go home to heal or anything. Grub and Grubbier. Hunters report strange grumblings in the woods. And they might be the Garlic Eclairs. Hey guys, one sec. Scope the Kobo Kobold congregation over there. Yes, yeah, so? Kobolds like to buddy up and all, all the time. Not like this, they don't. I bet they're playing Trippy Trap. The heck is that? You've never heard of Trippy Trap? Everyone runs around with knives trying to trip each other. It's super funny. Hold tight. I'm gonna check it out. Doesn't sound funny. Sounds dangerous. So Pip, do you know that blueberries are super good for your skin? Is there something wrong with my skin? No, it's just... Oh hey, you're suspect. Yeah, so I guess the game is cancelled. They plan to attack the hunting village nearby instead. What? That's terrible. I know, right? That would be, such, would be such a good time. Ruined just because some hunter's hunting where they don't belong. 
No, I mean, they can't just attack those hunters for hunting. We've got to help them. Fine. Fucking hell, Pip. Always with the gotta help everybody thing. God damn. Oh, I'm stuffed. Seriously. Guess our eating contest got a little out of hand. I think we really ate every bird of that forest. Pretty sure. Not that anyone will miss them. Fuck, there's a lot of kobolds. Attack! Here we go, motherfucker. There's too many. There's so many. We're gonna have to pick one guy we're gonna save and save him. Pretty much. Try and block them. If we get one guy surrounded, they can't get to him. Because they haven't got any ranged abilities. But then the guys can move on their own anyway. You guys need to get going, we'll cover you. Fuck. Okay, we'll try. Yeah, that's the problem. They automatically surround you anyway. I mean, like, the guys you're surrounding automatically can move whenever they want. Which means you can't actually surround their guys. Uh, one of the guys we're trying to protect and keep them surrounded. This doesn't work. And they're just gonna go NATO when they start moving. They're gonna go everywhere. They clustered at the moment, but they're not gonna last like that. Yeah, here they come. And they just murdered those two straight away. There was no saving them, they were fucked. They got immediately surrounded. They were doomed from the outset. They are pulling away though, they're pulling back. But there's no way to actually block them because... of how the, the map is laid out. Can we grab Pip, please? Yeah, Pip. Can we get Sophia? Ghost, if you stay there. Ghost, move. We're gonna try and build a, build a defensive wall with our own human fleshes. I'm gonna build a meat shield, basically, for them. Alright, that's one dead. Good. Do our best to build a meat shield. They can move so far with each movement, that's the problem. If we take their spot, they'll have to move back there. They've got no choice, really. Ah, must have just more food. If I move you, then that's going to open the hole again. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. If I'm not careful, I'm going to like open it up so they can get to them easily. You can really only defend a couple. The rest of them are pretty much doomed. They're going to be like sacrifices to keep these fucks at bay. Shit, they can get through so easily. No matter what we do, they get through. We can pincer these guys though pretty badly. I need to move you away from everyone so you can actually start firing again. There's actually nowhere you can go where you can fire. You must well just become a meat shield yourself then. Oh, yes! Yeah. That's the way. Stay clustered. Clustered to keep them safe. Some of them are going to have to be sacrificed. Like this one up here is doomed. But he can be a temporary meat shield. Maybe these two here. They look like they're gonna be the easiest for us to protect. Gustav, I'll never forget the time we farted together. I think maybe, yeah, I'm feeling a bit lighter. You can do it, keep going. You have to be a lot lighter, man. You are getting fucked out there. We need to protect them from both sides. If at all possible.
Alright, line up. Nice. Very good, very good. This might work, this might work. Oh, fuck, he's getting around. They've got such massive movement every turn. Single turns worth of movement for them is insane. They can cross the entire battlefield in one go. Oh, there goes another one. My poor Wilson. He'll never know how much I hated him. Well, I guess you're not really going to miss him too much then, are you? That's fine. Fuck you too. You pull him back. You're going to be a sacrifice, my man. No offense, but you're going to have to be a sacrifice. Because you're a ranged guy. See if you can draw them away. Yes! Yes! Alright, that's keeping these two pretty safe. They're gonna have to move real hard to get around us. Oh, they're going for this one. That's cool, and this one. Good goddamn, this is nasty. We've basically got this one protected. But that's it. Oh, I could bring you forward. I don't know, I don't know. I don't want to commit too much. I don't want to commit you guys to getting fucking murdered out there while I'm protecting this guy. Don't come over here you fucking muppet. That's where the fucking kobolds are, run! Here they come! Oh, I think I made a mistake by not leaving all my guys around this guy. Oh, they've got one here though that they're sort of going after as well. Alright, move! Somehow we have to kill all these guys before they murder everybody that we're trying to protect. How is that even possible? It seems impossible to me. Fucking good shot there, Wraith. What a beast. Well, there goes that guy. That was the only thing stopping them coming here. Not Emilio, he promised to shear my cat for me. Well, looks like you're gonna have to shear your own fucking cat, bitch. I mean, no offense, I didn't mean to get all aggressive on you like that. But I kinda did. You're a dick. You just stay where you are. Try and keep them busy, eh? Have we lost anyone, or are we still good? I think we're still good. Yes! Look, they're getting out of here. Yes! Alright, they're coming now. There's only four left, though. That's not too bad. We've thinned their ranks pretty fucking severely. Oh my god, Perp, take it easy. They're fucking hammering you there, my main. When they come for us, we're gonna be in trouble. There's only four of them, but they're really dangerous. Block them as best you can. At least they go down easy. That is the one advantage with kobolds. They're just ignoring us though. They're attacking us as they go past, but that's all. Oh, counter attack. Way to go, Pip. You fucking murdered that fool. For fucking with us. You're gonna fuck with us, you die, motherfucker. Right, we saved two. Two's better than zero. And they're pretty much saved. Dude, yes. that's everyone gone. Whew, glad that's over. Good goddamn. Ha! All according to Nub's plan. Now Nub, king of the forest! Oh, uh, hello? Mmm, how oh, precious a snack! Alright, Nub is just a kobold. Yeah. Put me down! You dead, fool! Alright, that went alright. That was super dangerous, though. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Good job. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Alright, I think we're going to wrap this episode up here because uh, those last two missions took a while. We've got a few more to do around here. We'll just open the map here. See, there's two more up there and then there's a Mr. Whispers over there. 
We'll come back and do those in the next episode. Till then, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.